Hi everyone, it's Denise with One of Our Crafts. Today I am back to do a little video on um, making a little seed packet pouch or holder or bag or whatever you want to call it. Um, I seen I was going through some of my videos and it was suggest it was a suggestion on my YouTube channel and it was um, I seen uh, the frugal crafter um do this so and she did it just a little bit different well her doily was a little different so but i kind of wanted to do something i tried it experimenting with some music paper and it came out pretty cute but not quite where i want it to be so uh, what i want to do is i don't if you guys remember the plain altered playing cards i have one that has a poppy and I have some seed packets that I had purchased from Rock Paper uh, Treasures. And um, so, and I'll leave the link to her Etsy. She still has some of these. But you get a pretty good packet size um, of the uh, seed packets. So they're empty, obviously. But I thought this would match and go like that. And my mom liked poppies. So I said, let's put one of those in the journal and it fits in there really good but I want to do something a little different decorate it so this was just my little template just to try and make sure I could do it right you know that's all you need get it on camera and then it's like goes everywhere and, and that would definitely be my luck to do so what I did was pulled a, a piece of old uh, vintage um, dictionary paper so that's what I'm going to use and let me see, how do we do this? So, we're going to pretty much kind of find the center a little bit. Actually, what I want to do is, it's got to go a little over half, so that when this side folds over, so, I'll pull that over. And then I'm going to fold this out just a little bit to give a little bit of room, slide in and out room. And then I just want it to go kind of over so I can, um, so I want to cut it right about there. And I can't, you, I tried cutting this dictionary paper with my cutter and it sticks it like rips it even if I go really slow so all right so we know this will slide in and out okay yep and then I want to figure out how far up <clears throat> I want it to tuck so I don't need the flap to be real big just enough to Tuck it and then fold. So this is pretty simple. Very, very simple. Cute little bag. So kind of like a little holder, little bag kind of thing. Alright, so what I want to do is just take and cut at a little slight angle there and there. And of course you can measure it if you want to be perfect. Same thing here. A little side piece. And it does not have to, like I said, it does not have to be perfect because that portion, this back portion, I'm going to cover it. Alright, so. Now what I want to do is to get like a zigzag edge. I'm not going to fold it. Let's see, how far up do I want it to be? Uh, I would say probably maybe about there. I'm just going to mark it with my fingernail. You can mark it with a pencil. Let's see, I want my bottoms to kind of line up because then 
I'm going to take it and I'm not going to cut it too much of an angle, almost straight, but just offset a little bit. And take it to the fold line right there, then open it, and then from there, if I can get this very, very um, delicate piece of <laughs> dictionary paper, I'm going to kind of do a, like a like an arc shape. So when I close it, the back is still up, you know, off the back. Doesn't need to be exactly perfect. If you want it to be, you can certainly measure it or draw like a half half circle or, you know, a half oblong circle there to make it uh, if you wanted. But for me, I'm just, I'm okay with um, with it like that. My glue book. <laughs> so I don't get glue all over. Alright. I'll glue that down. And glue that up. And now I have a little bag that I can use, uh, a little holder for my seed packet there that I'm going to put in there. Make sure the glue doesn't stick all the way to the bottom. Be careful with this dictionary paper. So let me stick something in here so that it makes sure that it stays open all the way. Okay, well it dries. So what I was thinking, and she had put a little tool around it, and I thought that was cute, and then she put some other stuff, hemp cord and stuff around it, and it was cute, but not quite what I was looking for, so I'm thinking... Pastelly, greeny, teal, sea foam color, I guess. Matches the kit, so I pulled it out. Okay. What I was thinking is I could wrap that like that and do a little knot. But I want to do some decorating down here, so. Okay, let's see, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Tons of stuff. <laughs> Too much stuff, I think. Oh my gosh, I went through my scrap bins. Guys, and I know you're probably going to cringe when I tell you this. However, it was so jam-packed. I mean, it was over. I have one of those, you know, the... You know, you can buy the little drawer pull-out things that are square and um, they're collapsible. And you can put them in the little cubby. That thing was stacked about, I don't know, that much over the top. Just full of my scraps because I haven't had a chance to do anything with them. So I ended up having to go through them. And I literally had, I grabbed a Walmart bag to get rid of the small itty-bitty things because sometimes I just mindlessly stick everything in there. I mean, even the little tiny tuck pieces sometimes. I filled a Walmart trash bag just full of those little itty bitty scrap pieces and stuff. I just said, you know what? I got to get rid of it. I know you're probably cringing and saying, Denise, why didn't you do something with it? I just, it's been piling up for so long and I don't have really, I don't have time to do it. So, um, you know, just one of those things. Okay, I think what I want to do is put a little doily on the front so that way I have a little front tuck as well to put a little journaling card in there I thought would be cute. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay, and so let me fold that up and 
do a little glue. side in give it some glue but yeah I was just it, it just was getting out of control I mean did I really need those little pieces no I just was mindlessly sticking them in there not even thinking about it and it <laughs> caught up to me <laughs> I just had to get rid of it I was just like you know it is what it is right so now I've got a little tuck in the front Here's where the card's going to go, and I think that's pretty dry. So, let me see what I have here. A little bit of a mini snippet roll here. Um, let's see. Pull something on there. I don't know what. I have been busy in between trying to do everything. Um, I'm not liking anything off that right yet. Oh. Oh, that little piece isn't too bad. Alright, where are my zigzag scissors? my pinking shears <laughs> but yeah I've been busy I've been making some ephemera in between because I, I did an avocado dye last night and um, so while stuff was soaking and stuff I was running up here and doing a little bit and running back down and doing that load and then <laughs> See, like I was keeping like the little tiny pieces like that size in there, just mindlessly keeping them. Oh, Denise. <laughs> okay, I don't need a piece quite, I don't think, that big. of that um, oh tea house okay there we go tea dance tea house tea kettle I like that I'm going to put like that piece there Over the top like that. How's that? Maybe we'll put a little flower or two on there. Well, actually, with the bow on there, I think that'll be enough. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> and I'm not going to decorate the the seed packet because it's, you know, I don't want to ruin it. If if whoever gets the journal wants to do that they can uh, another night it 
It's been a lovely day. It actually has not been overly hot. It rained a little bit last night, so it kind of cooled it down a little bit. And so nice, nice enough. Nice enough, nice enough, nice enough. You know, my mind's been kind of all over the place. I had so many things going on. My son had a little fender bender um, at Walmart. And so we had to deal with that. And he's fine. You know, it was just one of those little, you know, backing. Both of them were backing at the same time, so. And so we had to deal with, we've had to deal with that. And <laughs> I haven't had an accident in 25 years, literally 25 years. And so how things are done today are not the same as what they used to be. So it's, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know why you need all that, but okay. <laughs> too much down there and a nice little pretty something to stick that in in the journal. Ooh, where'd my reviews go? Okay, I'll put that in my scrap pile. See, that's another thing too. My scrappy pile of fabrics is getting thick too. <laughs> so, I don't want to, I you know, if they want to zhuzh it up a little bit, they can, but it's in here for that. And then I want to put a, see, like I said, I've been busy. I did all my little journaling cards. I sewed around them. And I'll show you the rest of those here in a minute. I'm just trying to find one I think I like in there. I think maybe this one. Or, I don't know, that one's a little wide to fit in there. This one might be a little too long, so... Either that or you know what might be cute. Let's see. We could put this one in here as a journaling card. This one in the front. And then do like that. And then we got a couple little journaling cards back there and in there and a little poppy seed packet and Nice little thing to go in the journal, I think. Nice little piece of ephemera. But like I said, I've been kind of busy. Like I said, I, I just sewed around all my little journaling cards and backed them with some coffee stained. And this one's from Amy's Kit, Crafty Cats. Her old paper, her 1891. Some tags from the Martha Kit, and I backed it with her... her Old uh, vintage paper volume two stuff. There, and this one was uh, coffee. And then these ones I just backed with some scrapbooking paper that I had in the bin. I tried to get rid of because it was getting overflowing. And then the little postcards, I backed the postcard with the postcard portion. Put a little stamp on there and did decorative stitch. Same with that one. On there, so we got all those to be able to put into the journal. So I'm going to pop 
those into my little sack. And then I decorated the envelopes. And I'll probably put a little piece of, of um, avocado or coffee stain paper or something like that in there. This one is one of the tea bag um, envelopes that came in the kit. I just decorated the front and put a little tea bag in there. So, because I made it to kind of adjust the, the little bit wider ones. And then this is also a tea bag uh, envelope that comes in the Martha kit. And so I put a little tab on the back. Still decorating on the front. And then this one will fit like a Twinnings size tea bag in there. So that'll go in the in the journal. And then, yeah, like I said, I've been busy. <laughs> I just backed most of these is all I did and re-inked them. Did a little bit of stuff on the tags. And decorated this one. And then what I did was I put some mulberry paper over the top of that, that scrapbooking paper. But this one comes from Amy's um, kit, the 1891 kit, I believe. This as well. One of her little postcards. I just added some trim and backed it. And remember this one? We were gonna, I was going to try and decorate it on camera, but I didn't have time. So all I did was I backed it with some tea stain paper and just layered it a little bit and then punched a little hole up here and put a little... Uh, one of those, um, so I can't think. My brain's not functioning today. <laughs> it doesn't want to remember the name of anything. Um, yeah, those things, <laughs> you know. And um, just put some uh, lace on there, some trim. And then this comes from her kit as well. And so I just decorated the tag, and that'll go inside the journal. I'll get glued in there. And just decorated up some tags and ready to put in the journal. This one had a, it's a nice little journaling card. She had a, like one of those, uh, oh, I don't know what they call those. I know the boa is the fuzzy one, but it's, I don't think it's called a boa if it's just like a scarf, like a warming, you know whatever. So I just put some eyelash trim there. I thought it was cute. Backed it with some avocado dyed composition notebook paper. This one too has a little button on there. A little piece of that um, snippet roll. Backed it with some lined tea stained paper. Same thing. Some journaling cards for the journal. So like I said a lot of my ephemera is just been busy kind of plugging away as I get a little bit of time here and a little bit of time there. So let's see how long have we been on here. Let me just shift it a little bit. Sorry, my hand's in the way. So I can see how many minutes we've been on here. I gotta move it just a little. Okay, 20 minutes, 23 minutes. Uh, all right. I think maybe I might do, um, oh yeah, let me show you what I got from Rock Paper Treasures, um, and I'll leave the link to hers down there. I'm trying to remember how many of these packets did I get. I bought two of them. So, but, let's see, if I can find where it ends here. But they're all mixed up in there. Aren't these beautiful? And she's got them um, in her shop. She still has some. So go and check her out if you want some for your ephemera. They're great to put in little tuck spots and stuff. So, go and check her out. I'll leave the link to her Etsy, to the actual uh, listing for these down there. I've, I, I got them back in for a while, a while ago. When did I get these? Back in April. I just hadn't had a chance because of everything that's gone on. So, 
Uh, but anyways, I just have a few more pieces in here. I'm probably going to do a guest check. Um, these, I think, I will use as some tuck spots in the journal. In there. So those are all inked up. Uh, let's make a couple little paper clip embellishments, I think. Because I did run my, um, and I, I'm not sure which one I want to use, but I did a couple from scrapbooking paper from my kit. Here are those Tim Holtz Thinlet um, pieces to put in there so some tags and stuff can go in the journal. But I thought we could maybe, if there's time, which I think there is, to decorate a couple paper clips. Make some ultra paper clips for the journal. Sorry, I'm still, I'm just so tired. I didn't get to bed till like oh, 3.30 this morning. Then I had to get up and deal with all that with the insurance company. And I got up, my head was just, it's not all there. I don't know if it's just this weather and I'm still not feeling, you know. <laughs> of course, it could just could be me because I'm flat out weird anyway. I don't know. Oh, goodness, Denise. There we go. All right. These are very, very simple to make. I just slide it through. Fold it down. I don't know, about half an inch. Thereabouts. Like that. And then I just run my fingernail or what little of my fingernail down there. When I glue it, I can still slide it back and forth. The great thing about doing it this way is I can I can clip it so you can see the paper clip or you can also fold it down to clip it that way as well. So I'll do one that way. Um I might sold that. We'll do one going facing this way. I don't know. It's Friday and it it's it does not feel like Friday. It feels like it's like a Tuesday. <laughs> I think I just because I'm so I feel like I'm so far behind on on everything. <laughs> oh, is that crazy or what? But all right, you can use either glue, it works, they both work good. So, do the back side up here, get that little edge so it stays tucked down. And I, I normally I send the I make a bunch of altered paper clips and I those of you who've ordered from me know I, I always attach one with my business card and some washi tape on there. And so I love making these. They're very easy, but they're so great, you know, I mean because you can use them for anything, you know. Decorate away. I always test it, make sure it slides. <laughs> pretty simple, you know, just do a couple little things to them and they look so pretty. And I don't know why I took and put the lid back on there. <laughs> I'm telling you today I'm just so feeling so odd. But 
anyway, enough about me. <laughs> How's everyone else doing? I mean, good, I hope. Looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. Of course, I gotta go. I was supposed to go mow my mom's lawn a couple days ago and put it off. I was gonna do it yesterday, then it rained. <laughs> so I didn't get it done. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll just do it Friday. Yeah, it rained last, like I said, it rained last night. So, uh, nah. Not gonna happen <laughs> till that till that dries a little bit. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to put um, this color on there. Maybe. If I can find them. There they are. My white ones. See how easy that was? So easy. I love my little paper flowers. I know my uh, cricket can do it, but. I don't know. That's just another one of those time consuming things that <laughs> I would end up spending like two or three weeks doing and and then everything else gets because I got into that you know into that obsession to make them <laughs> and then over made too many so and some some craft supplies you know I like I don't mind buying I mean somebody has to make them right so Someone will stay employed. But if you know anybody, if you know anybody that makes these and sells them, let me know. Because I'm I would love to do that, because at least it supports another craft or small business, you know. Don't mind doing that at all. I love my little paper flowers. Okay, so now I got three paper clips. Let me clip them onto something here so that I'll have them in my little pouch ready to go. Here we go. Okay, so. Those are all done, and I think that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate all of you. 
um, here pretty soon. I'm getting, I'm creeping close to 300. Um, but I haven't done a giveaway either in a while, so I may not, it may not even be like a 300. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'm going to take a look this weekend and see what I've got. Maybe I can put some little packets together or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll, somebody will get, um, you know, one of my new digital kits or, or the whole bundle of them. Who knows? <laughs> I'll have to give it some thought over the weekend, but I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a giveaway here pretty soon. I appreciate all you guys hanging out with me. Don't forget, go check out Crafty Cat if you have not already. Um, I uh, Her link is below. I will also, at the end of the video, put her web, um, her YouTube channel, her little subscribe up there as well with mine. If you haven't already done so and you like my videos, please like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. would love to have you. Welcome to all those that are new. And let's see, what else? And go and, and take a look at Rock Paper Treasures. Uh, like I said, I left the link below um, if you're interested in seed packs. Hope you guys had fun. Um, hope you guys try out that little seed packet holder, you know, little bag envelope, whatever. Um, you don't even have to use it for seed packets. It'd be great for anything else. Uh, I'd love to see if you guys make one. Let me know. And I will talk to you next time, guys. Plenty of love, hugs, and blessings. Mwah. Bye.